All right, what's up guys? This is Jason coming at you. So somebody asked for a tutorial of I will call up on the Lord. Um, it's not really my thing, but hey, I'm going to try here. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you like this style uh, teaching and whatnot. So let's get going. I'm going to start off right with the keys, right? So this song is in the key B flat. So you have B flat, C, D, E flat, F, G, a and B flat you'll see chord is set to the key of B flat but it also uses the key of C sharp uh, which is C sharp E flat F F sharp A flat B flat C and C sharp right this intro is basically fully in C sharp um, so let's just get started um, uh, you can look at the other video with the track if you want to see the track but I'm not gonna play the track here um, so All right, so let's go over that. That is the intro. Uh, the first thing you're in C sharp, you're gonna do a, a C sharp major scale starting from the seventh degree. So the seven is this C here. You're gonna walk up the C sharp scale, All right? And it starts on the E of the the beat, like one E and a two E and a. It starts on the E, E and a one E and a, and then you're back in the one. This is. E and a four E and a one, right? So, all right. So your left hand and your right hand are on the same notes. C sharp, F, A flat, and C. All right. Then you're gonna come here to. Um, your left hand is on F sharp, C sharp, and F sharp. Your right hand is on A flat, C sharp, F, and A flat. So. Next chord, your left hand is on F, C, and E flat. Your right hand is on A flat, C, E flat, and G. Your right hand has an A flat major seven in it. Right? Your melody is G, F, E flat. Next chord, all right, your left hand is D, A, and D. Your right hand is A, B flat, D, and F. All right, so. Right? Next chord. Your left hand is C sharp, A flat, and C sharp. Your right hand is C sharp, F, and B flat. So. Now, um, what the bass player does here is a. Uh, Right, so the chord stays the same, but the bass player hits. Right, so um, if you want to do that, you that's your first chord like before. Your next one would be you're moving the melody on your right hand down to A flat, so you have this, and then your left hand is going to switch to A flat, E flat, A flat. So, oh, I'm sorry right now you hit the octave the C sharp all right so right and you're following that melody in the in the song so your your right hand goes to the F sharp now and now you're hitting the F sharp major seven all right so left hand is F sharp and C sharp right hand is F sharp B flat C sharp and F. So, right? This tritone, well, it's a dominant seventh chord. Um, so your left hand is B, your right hand is, or I'm sorry, your left hand is B, E flat, and A. Your right hand is a C sharp major chord, right? So C sharp, F, A flat, and C sharp. Now this is supposed to be a five, but it's extended, right? So it's a, um, it's normally a five, but they tritone the five, right? 
because you have the F as the five and the, the tritone uh, in there is with the third and the dominant seven. So you have the third and the dominant seven up here. And then you have a, a C sharp chord that goes with that because it is the sharp fifth of the of F, right? But then what they do is instead of using the five as the root note, they use the tritone of the five, which is the B. So um, it's really just a bass substitution. Uh, but because because the you're using an F dominant and the tritone in F, you can uh, use the same. You can use the different bass note because the tritone is the same. So for instance, F has a tritone in uh, A and E flat. B, the third of B and the flat seven of B is also E flat and A. So you can substitute either bass note. All right, so that's what they do. Um, hope I explained that well. Uh, but yeah, let's keep going. So, right, I just play uh, perfect fifths here. F sharp, uh, F sharp, C sharp on the left hand, C sharp, F sharp on the right hand. Down a half step for the next chord, F C and C F. All right, here's the next chord. So it's uh, this is a, a chord you'll come back to a lot. Uh, B flat, F B flat on your left hand. Right hand is A flat, D F, and B flat. So that's a dominant, uh, or B flat dominant. Now I use a grace note here with the C sharp, and roll to the D. So, right. So all together we have. And we're going to reuse those last three chords a couple of times. Uh, so, yeah, let's get into the O, 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 O and the verse, right? Right? You're going to play uh, these notes. Here's your chord. All right. So A flat, E flat, and F sharp is the first one. And then you have a perfect four on the uh, right hand, which is... You know, just fourth, uh, B flat, E flat, and A flat. Right. So the left hand is A flat dominant. The right hand is a B flat perfect four. And you're gonna walk that down a whole step. So your left hand is F sharp, C sharp, E. Your right hand is A flat, uh, C sharp, and F sharp. So, right. Now your next chord is a B flat chord with an F in the bass. So left hand is F and D. Right hand is F, B flat, D, F. So your whole thing is do 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 do. <laughs> oh. All right. Now, when I play with this uh, track, I usually use what I usually use some something in the B flat arpeggio or the B flat uh, uh, pentatonic scale, and I add in this three. So I think that's a bebop something. Honestly, I don't know. Um, but um, yeah. So if I right where I left off that those are my grace notes and then you hit the next chord which is B flat F a flat D F B flat right my left hand is just on B flat and F now if you want to extend it to this you can with the B flat F B flat and the left hand down at the bottom all right, and then we're going to repeat the same three chords that we did from the end of the intro. Right? So I'm going to try to tie this all together because I know I've been doing it a little out of order. So um, 
after you do the intro. Uh, 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 uh. Then, uh, uh, uh. right, so here's your perfect fours. And then here's your one with that with that grace note. And then here's your last three from the intro with that grace note. That is basically the whole O and the verse. It's just repeated. Right? Right? And you're playing... With those pentatonics, with those bebops, and with those uh, those arpeggios. All right. So, moving on, we have shows.